Here with Coach Kilberg of Council Bluffs, Lincoln. Coach, thanks for joining us here today. You don't get to play a lot of Central Iowa teams a lot, but you get a big one here tonight or here on Friday night. Waukee, you're both five and three, playoff implications. First of all, this is the second time just in this decade that you guys have hit five wins. Talk about how big this is, how big this season has been for the program that you guys have been building. It's been huge. Um, our kids have really bought in from previously. Uh, we're only getting two gain, two wins last year to now getting that up to five wins last year or this year, revenging a lot of losses from the previous season. Kids are buying in really well. They're liking the things that we're doing as a coaching staff. Um, they're really creating their own culture. Um, we've kind of talked to the kids about that too, about the the type of season that they're having. It's not often that a school like ours gets to that five win mark or let alone gets themselves into this position to be fighting for a playoff spot. Um, and I think they are, they're kind of recognizing that themselves. They're preparing really well this week. It looks like um, it's exciting. It's really exciting. I mean, you can kind of feel the buzz in the school alone. Um, kids are excited to go watch Friday nights. They're excited to kind of talk about the football team having success and, Hopefully that bleeds into the winter sports. Hopefully it encourages more kids to come out next year. Uh, but it's been really good for the program. For the people that view us here in central Iowa, obviously we don't get a lot of looks for you guys being out West. Um, talk about your team a little bit. You have a quarterback that does both. I mean, he can run and he can pass. We don't see that a lot here in the Metro. Um, explain what ETN's meant to the team this year. And just, you know, we don't see that a lot in class 5A. Yeah, um, it's it's so fun to work with. <laughs> Having a quarterback that's dual threat, you get to scheme up a lot of different things, um, really try to create opportunities for him to get into open space and utilize his legs, um, but still drop back uh, and throw it. He's got a really big arm. He's committed um, to FCS North Dakota. So really excited opportunity for him as well. Um, but he, he's been huge for us. He's taken care of the ball last year. He struggled. He had, I think 11 interceptions. Um, so he just struggled with turnovers. Whereas this year, I think he's understanding a lot more how to utilize his legs. Uh, and he's doing that. Um, if throws aren't there, he's smart enough to tuck and run. It might only be for two or three yards, but he's at least taken care of the ball. He's letting us live to fight another drown. Uh, and that's opened up a lot of opportunities for our offense to continue drives, to sustain drives, or really capitalize in the red zone. Um, but having a guy like him, he's such a good leader, too. He really steps up in practices. He helps guys out. Um, his football knowledge is is next tier. He, he really understands the reads he's making and why he's making them. So seeing his growth alone from last year to this year has been really exciting. Talk about the defense just a little bit. You have a ball hawking defense. I mean, 10 plus interceptions on the year. What's led to that? I mean, is it more of that buying in or is it just kind of how you, the type of teams you guys have faced? What do you attribute to that? I think it's a little bit of both. It's definitely the kids buying in. We made some slight changes last year to this year. Um, last year we were three front. This year we're still traditionally a three front. Um, we kind of are more of like a three, three, five now, I would say, as opposed to a three, four last year. Um, and so we've got this position where he's kind of the, we call him the corrector of our defense. He's kind of supposed to fix everything. And I think that's opened up a lot of opportunities for our D backs to be kind of more ball Hawks. Um, but if you look at our earlier games, just the situations we've put teams in, we've gotten up big, so that's requiring them to pass more. And so we can, we can take advantage of those opportunities a lot easier. Uh, when you know a team's throwing, you can drop back and you can really sit and read the quarterback. Um, so that's, yeah, we harp on that every week. We talk about the turnover battle and having to win that every week. Um, I want to say all, but Johnston, we have created a turnover um, and Johnston's a stellar team. I don't know if we play him again, if we create a turnover, <laughs> uh, but that's, that's been super fun too. Our defense has set our offense up in so many good situations through the first five games. I'd have to truly look at it, but our starting field position had to be at least midfield or better. I mean, our defense were just getting stops. They were forcing punts or they were creating turnovers and helping our offense out. Last question for you, coach. You play a walkie team that's kind of been up and down. I mean, they, they'll have their great week and then they'll fall a little bit, just kind of on and off. Um, what's the key this week to taking down this team? They got a good quarterback, still young. I mean, just a junior, but well-experienced team. What's the key this week? We got to try and keep their offense off the field um, and we got to convert um, our third down situations, our big situations, take care of those opportunities. 
Um, I don't ever really consider them having a down week because they're playing a lot of Metro teams yeah. and, yeah. and we know what that's like. So uh, they're going to be a well-coached team. They were well-coached last year. They're really well-coached this year too, watching them on film. Uh, they fit their run gaps really well defensively. They're just really stout. They keep six in the box and they'll, they'll line up in their secondary and just, you know, basically tell you to go beat them. So they're really um, athletic. They're really strong, but same with their quarterback uh, Baker, he, he can get it done on the ground too. And so this is the first situation where we've really faced kind of a dual threat quarterback as well. So it's unique for us, um, but we game plan around it. We try to set up situations to allow our kids to succeed. Um, so hoping we can get into the fourth quarter, be in a dog fight. Um, they're playing for a playoff opportunity too. So we know that we'll get their best uh, fight as well. So I'm excited for it. It should be a good game. Looking forward to it. Coach, we appreciate your time. Good luck to you and the links here on Friday night. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, coach.